Welcome back to Hot Sauce and Chill. I'm Paige. Today we have Gator Squeezins Hot Sauce from Pucker Butt Pepper Company. I'm going to review this. Um, this contains primarily Pepper X, um, which was just Guinness certified at almost 2.7 million Scoville um, as the world's hottest pepper. Um, Heatness recently released a last dab containing this pepper right here. Uh, Pepper X, uh, developed by Ed Curry. This is, of course, his sauce company. And this is actually the extra hot version of Gator Squeezins. So we're going to try this today. I'm really excited. Pepper just got certified. You know, it's been in development for a lot of years, and it's an exciting, uh, exciting event. And to celebrate, I'm going to try this live on camera. Never had it before. Appreciate you coming back to check out the channel. So let's see, um, you know, Heatnist having come out with a last dab recently containing Pepper X as well. Um, a lot of talk on the internet about if this is hotter um, or how much Pepper X that sauce actually contains. So uh, this being a hotter version of the Squeezins line, um, there is also another Carolina Reaper version that's 92% Reapers and I've tried the extra hot version of that on this channel as well. Um, they don't publish exactly what percentage is in this, but um, we should be in for a, for a pretty hot ride. Ingredients include Pepper X Pepper Mash, containing Pepper X peppers and vinegar, distilled vinegar, and Carolina Reaper powder. So that's all hot stuff. As you can see, it's sealed. I'm gonna open this live. For the first time on camera here. Let's go, let's get that seal ripped open. All right. That's off right there. Shake that up. Like usual, I got my Hello Kitty spoon. I don't know that I'm nervous, I just don't know what to expect here. Should be really hot though. Ooh, that's thick. That's really thick. I want to get like a good full spoonful for you, as you can see there. That's pretty good. All right, Gator Squeezins extra hot. Down the hatch. Very hot. I know I always say that. This one tastes a lot like vinegar. There is a lot of vinegar going on there. Um, almost like a sweet tangy flavor. It's kind of a sharper heat, almost like a scorpion. I found the Reaper to be more of like a dispersed heat all around. This is really sharp and, and hit in my mouth like a um, Trinidad scorpion, like a Maruga scorpion. It's hot. That lives up to its name. Heat's still climbing, getting around my mouth. <sighs> it's getting to be cold outside, it's getting to be fall, so it's kind of good to get some heat like that around uh, around the sinuses there. This one stings. It's like a sticky heat. Like I said, it's a lot like, a lot like a scorpion. That's the closest. It's really like a scorpion on steroids. And it's actually starting to get hotter in the roof of my mouth and in the back of my throat. <clears> throat> Woo! That's some hot stuff. It tastes good though. The pepper flavor's there. Uh, but it's kind of like a tangy, very, very tangy flavor. It kind of blends with the vinegar. But you can feel that fruity, stingy, almost like a, like a lemon-lime citrus fruit kind of variety popping out at you. Wow. I can kind of feel that going into my sinus. 
My eyes feel hot. That's a new one. <laughs> it's tasty though. It's a flavorful sauce. Um, like I was saying, vinegar really blends with that lemon, lime, citrus flavor. That'd be uh, really good with something, something Caribbean or like on some jerk chicken. Really go with a good fatty, fatty like chicken thighs or something like that. Real good, it'd cut right through that. Yeah, that's hot. I'm not getting it so much, you know, famous last words, I'm not getting it so much in my stomach, like I have with other, um, with other stuff. Really hot though. <clears throat> I honestly can't decide if this is hotter than the Reaper Squeezins, I think it stings more. Um, I think it kind of stings in the way that there's almost like a unique, I mean, there's, it's probably no mystery why they call it a Trinidad Scorpion. It's also a super hot pepper, um, you know, somewhere around, give or take, 2 million. I don't know if there's 92% pepper ricks in there, Pe but the pepper packs a punch. I know there's also reaper powder in this, and that could be what's rounding out the heat in my mouth, in addition to that sting. All in all, though, I would recommend this if you like really hot sauces. And honestly, actually, I really like the flavor of this one. Um, like I said, that tang, I couldn't help but get that lemon-lime almost hit on the back of the palate, um, along with the vinegar. And it also really stood out um, with that very astringent pepper forwardness, but with that unique citrus profile. Um, hot stuff, even though there's uh, now the, the Pepper X version of the last dab, I believe this is still available. I don't know how many of the extra hot variety they have left. Um, I, I believe it was a special, special blend, but if you can get your hands on it, it's good stuff. I would recommend it. So thank you for joining me. Um, please like and subscribe. I appreciate all the new subscribers um, that have rolled in in the last couple of videos. Hope to be back uh, with more soon. And I'm um, looking forward to uh, seeing you all again. Once again, I'm Paige. This is Hot Sauce and Chill. Have a good one.